Hi, welcome to this tutorial on graphing y equals f of mod x. Now, suppose you have a curve, any curve, let's say it's y equals some function of x. And when we have to sketch y equals f of mod x, that means what we do is we replace any x in the original equation with a modulus sign around the x. Now I'm assuming you're familiar with what the modulus sign does. If not, just go on my website, look under modulus functions, and you'll find tutorials on that. But if we have to graph y equals f of the mod of x, and I've got some examples down here, which at the end I'm going to ask you to have a go at, and I'll show you the solutions as well. But before we do that, let's just explain what actually happens when we have to sketch the graph of y equals f of the mod of x. And to do this, if we take this, say, general graph and we bring up a table of values, what I've done is I've said that this graph goes through 0, 3 on the y-axis and peaks at 1, 4, crosses the x-axis at 2, 0, bottoms out here at 2.5 minus 1 and crosses the x-axis at 3, 0. And I put these values in the table, as you can see, for our x values going from minus 3 to 3. And uh, I've got those y values there in blue. You'll notice I've ignored these values, this stretch down here. You'll see why in a moment, OK? Now, I need to work out what the graph of y equals f of mod x would look like. Let's say we take the x coordinate of minus 3. Then if we're going to work out what f of the mod of minus 3 is, okay, what does this mean? Well remember that if any x value is now in a mod sign, mod of minus 3 is going to mean that all our x's are replaced with plus 3. Remember the mod sign always gives us the positive value. Well, what is f of 3? Well f of 3 is going to be 0. You can see that when you put 3 into your function here you get 0. So you can just put equals 0. And let's put this value down here. If we do the same for the minus 2.5 we look at f of the mod of minus two and a half. What's this going to be? Well it's going to mean that all x values are replaced with two and a half. So we're looking at f of two and a half. And what is f of two and a half? Well you can see that it is minus one, this point down here. So this comes to minus one. So we can put this value in here. Let's take one more value. When x is minus 1, do f of the mod of minus 1. And we can see that this is going to be the same as doing f of 1. And what is f of 1? Well, you can see that when x is 1, your y value is 4. So you get 4. And we can put this value in here. Now, you'll notice that what's happening is that the values that you've got on the right hand side here are duplicated as the y values on the left hand side. When you have minus 3 you got 0, minus 2.5 you got minus 1. And so that means that, and you can check it out, when you have minus 2 you're going to be getting the value of f of 2 which was 0. And when it comes to these values, because they're already positive, you're going to get those same values back again. So I just mark them in. So what is actually happening is that you get a reflection of this part of the curve in the y-axis. Let me show you. If we take that part of the curve and I reflect it in the y-axis, you're going to get that. Okay, and I've marked in the points, our coordinates that we've got in the table here. So the red graph then is y equals f of the mod of x. So what I'm saying is that 
y equals f of mod of x, okay, where all the x's are replaced by a mod x sign, gives us a reflection of y equals f of x for x greater than or equal to 0 in the y-axis. And you get this curve here. That's for this particular y equals f of x function. Okay, well, what I want you to do is to have a go at these examples. I want you to try and sketch y equals the mod of x plus 1. And in this one, I've got y equals, and I've got two brackets being multiplied together. In this one, we've got mod x plus 1 multiplied by mod x minus 2. And the last one, we've got y equals e to the power mod x. And what you've got to do is think about what the graph of each of these would look like if they didn't have the mod sign around the x, and then just take the right-hand side of the y-axis and reflect that part in the y-axis, and then you get all of your graph. So, have a go at these. Just pause the video, and when you're ready, come back and I'll run through the solutions. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go, and let's just see how you got on. So first of all, if we look at this one, what we need to do is essentially draw the graph, first of all, of y equals x plus 1. And you should know that this is a straight line, gradient 1, crossing the y-axis at 0, 1. So it's going to be a line normally like this. Okay, we'll just draw that line in. Okay, we'll just do that. It's going to look something like that. This point on the y-axis is going to be a 1. So when it comes to drawing y equals the mod of x plus 1, we take this part of the graph, okay, the part where all our x values are greater than or equal to 0, reflect this in the y-axis, and what you get is something along those kind of lines. There you go. There's the graph then of y equals the mod of x plus 1. When it comes to this one, the graph that we need to think about drawing is y equals x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. No mods around that x. And this is a quadratic graph, a positive x squared graph. It crosses the x-axis when y is 0, that's at minus 1 and 2, so we can mark in minus 1 and 2 here. There you go, minus 1, and uh, there's 2, say. So we've got a parabola, so we're going to have something like this coming down through here, through the y-axis, still carrying on down a bit, then back up. All right, like that. Where does it cross the y-axis down here? Well, that's when x is 0, and if you put x is 0 in here, you get 1 times minus 2, which is minus 2. So you might as well mark that in, negative 2. I hope you can see that there. So we take the side for x greater than or equal to 0, so it's this side, this part of the curve. So if we just draw around there, I'll try and draw fairly close to the curve. Okay, It's meant to be on top of the curve, but just there so you can see it. And then we mirror this part in the y-axis, so you're going to get something, hopefully, looking like this. All right, up like that. If you're asked to write in the coordinates where it crosses the y-axis, well, we know that's at minus 2. Where it crosses the x-axis, well, this point here gets mirrored over to here, so it would be at negative 2. And what about this graph? y equals e to the mod of x. Well, if we were to draw the graph of y equals e to the x, let's mark that in, y equals e to the power x, no mod round there. You should be familiar with this graph. It comes through like this, passes through 1 on the y-axis, and shoots up like that. Okay, So we've got this point here, which is 1 on the y-axis. It never crosses the x-axis, Okay, as x tends to minus infinity the curve approaches the x-axis from above. So when it comes to sketching y equals e to the mod x, just take this part of the graph then through here, up like that. 
and then reflect this part in the y-axis so you're going to get something looking like this down like that okay it's going to come to a bit of a point not a smooth curve around there all right okay well i hope that's given you some idea on how to sketch then graphs of the form y equals f of mod x